shy in this bitch. So, so fly in this bitch. So Shoes mean up in this bitch. Yep. Money green up in this bitch. Yeah. Now ask me if I care oh, yeah. while I shake my 20 inch hair. Uh -huh. Is it truth or is it dare? Cause your hands is in the air. Yep. Mama still got that way. Uh -huh. And I still pop that slang. So simple you can sing. And the track could never change. I got you faded, got boo. You faded. My homies and my crew will ride down on you, boo. Cause we don't know you, fool. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown. Clowns, they don't stick around. I think I broke the mold. Unbelievable. So incredible. This is how I roll. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown. Clowns, they don't stick around. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown. Clowns, they don't stick around. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown. Clowns, they don't stick around. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown. Clowns, they don't stick around. I'll sit in this club in a frenzy with all I got that send me. I'm from the city that's windy. Do I got back up? Plenty. You can't sit with Hell us. No. It's you that we don't trust. Flow so glorious. Your style that I will crush. And I ain't worried about a damn thing. I told you I'd never change. Trying to be a mega star. Now tell me, ain't that strange? No room to fail, boo. You sounding stale, boo. You ain't your male, boo. Looking weak and frail, boo. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown. Clowns, they don't stick around. I think I broke the mold. So incredible. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. This is how I roll. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown. Clowns, they don't stick around. I beast the bass down, down to the effing ground. I got the bass crown.
watching over me Gotta listen up, cause I know that That this is not a game Or how I've tried to explain My feelings can't remain the same Gotta sort it out, cause I'm older You got 
no evil. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me throughout all my days. What God has for me, no man or no woman can take away. Hey. 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 
Thank you. 
raise your voice for Africa. All the children dance. Oh, yeah, my Africa. If you're in my one, all I've been to work for the husband. Africa, and you're my only freedom. We need that, it's a freedom. We have one, it's a freedom. We were there, you're a friend, we'll be at a freedom. What's up? If you're in my snap, it's a freedom. My father went now, one more was a room. No one to fear him. The fear him now, I bring you a friend. How's this?
Legendary DJ, producer, artist, Sundance, right here in the music workshop. We're about to kick down with the Sundance interview, y'all, so holler at your girl. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Just bear with us while we get this uh, next phenomenal DJ slash artist, producer, extraordinaire, Mr. Houseman himself. Direct from Germany, baby. Yeah. He's going to be doing his thing. So give us time. To, we're uh, changing the equipment, setting everybody up. So now we're going to get in the mix. In a couple minutes, as soon as we get this interview going on and get the setup going, I am DJ oh. to the House, your host you. of the music okay, workshop. Virgil, somebody take get this the mic away going. from Virgil. Here we go. Okay, go you talking too much. Ladies, it's always like a production. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the house with the tightest female DJ, Sundance, from Chicago. Sundance, thank you, hun, for coming down and Finally. making it happen and representing and showing them boys how it's done. Yes. Because uh, if there's anybody who's back I got about banging them beats like like one of the boys, at Sundance, she makes it happen. Depending what style she picks, she's going to make it happen. I try. And I've seen her do some old school stuff on vinyl, and let me just leave it. I'm not going to sit there. And yeah, my vinyl set is sick <laughs> because, you know, that's how... That's how I learned uh -huh. on vinyl and carrying records. I paid my dues. With the pink turntables? With and the whatnot. custom tables. Um, I got the ground snatched out, uh, copper wires, just everything. I'm going to bring them by one day. Uh-oh. Now, now, Sundance, I know 
of your history, but I, I'm going to let you explain it to, to, uh, to the fans out there. Okay. As far as you getting into the business, I know it was an uncle inspired you. Can you tell our viewers how Sundance came about to be a DJ? Well, I always, coming up, I was uh, raised around uh, DJs, musicians, and my aunts were hairstylists. It was either uh, I wanted to DJ or play the drums. So I played the drums all four years of high school. I played for two churches. And I always wanted to be a DJ, but nobody would take me serious. As all men, if a woman say, hey, I want to learn how to DJ, most men won't take them serious. So you have to just kind of invest. And once you start buying one piece of equipment, somebody will give you one piece, a mic, a headphone, a cord, speaker, whatever. So it, it was through an uncle my uncle and um after that i didn't pursue it until i had surgery at 27 26 27 and my grandfather came to see me and he was like listen you you know invest a lot of time into hair because i'm a licensed stylist what is it that you really want to do and i'm like i always wanted to dj he said just like you make the time to do hair and run around the city make the time to learn how to dj you just have to hang around the people that's doing it. And, you know, I did. So my first initial teacher was Steve Maestro, and then he moved to New York. But the person that spent the most time with me was Bulu Master. Okay. Yeah. My, um, Maestro, that, that's our guy. Mm -hmm. He's been here, him and Rhonda. They are an awesome mm -hmm. couple. Great <laughs> couple. Yeah. They bring, they bring um, a spirit into the room that's, mm -hmm. that's warm yeah and uh, my doors are open to them and coming here uh they left here with with their heads up high where wow mm -hmm. we like this we want to come back yeah you know and they heard all the rumors of money's barbecuing and all that which i didn't do today because it's cold and okay. i had to work but you know. <laughs> um sundance so tell the audience how long have you been djing this is my 19th year 2015 is my 19th year um I never wanted to stop, but I always think, like, what if I had started at 13 like I wanted to? You know, if somebody would have made the time. But it, I just can't dwell on that. I just have to keep going, you know, for motion. And I'm just focused on my DJ career. You know, I'm, I'm doing mainstream radio here in Chicago, 106.3 Crawford Broadcasting. And my what's cool, my boss allows me to um, DJ on the air, so I mix six days out of, out of the week. Um, you can hear me Sunday from 4 to 4.20, and with Ramon, um, 8 to 8.20 p.m. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome, you know, mm -hmm. and the whole talk talk. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, how was it for you to be a young artist? Because you, you, did, make, you did make a record. Yeah. Steady. Yeah. Um, it... <laughs> The business side of it, I did not know because I was so young. Mm -hmm. um, the experience is something that I will take with me for the rest of my life. I will do it again, but it has to be on my terms. Um, I was just telling Joe Smooth in the hallway, it has to be on my terms because I'm not 17 anymore. You know, I'm a grown woman, you, you know, know with expect. more responsibilities, you know, and I have to protect my brand it's not about oh this let's just get sundance it's not about that it's about um protecting the brand respecting my brand now about the brand you came out with a new song bass crown i came out yeah we did um i linked up with eddie and it has been over uh, maybe 22 23 years that we have not um we haven't really talked we didn't um do any business you know when dj international went south you know he went left i went right so i tried my best to um own my own identity you know if eddie's name will be attached to my name probably until we die because um what he brought to the music industry and what i tagged along with but i tried my best to i needed my own identity i uh -huh. wanted so much for people to say 
that Sundance Chicago Stylist female DJ or the radio personality, not just that Sundance that used to be with Fast Eddie. So now, you know, so many years into the game, I, I think I've owned my own identity. It was an experience, to get back to your question, it was an experience um, with Eddie, but it's just something that I want to walk on my own. You know, we did release Bass Crown. Um, it was a great record, but it's just something that I want to do on my own. Like, I want to do my own production. Mm -hmm. I want to spin my own records, you know. Right. right I just right. want to walk and master my Sundance lane. It has nothing to do with anybody. It's just something... It's me, you know. Yeah, you want to create your own ripples. Yes, yes. You're not trying to ride on nobody's wave, and that's understandable, and, and you know, that's something that we're going to see, you know. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll see more of Sundance yeah. and besides bass <laughs> and whatnot. So, um, Sundance, any advice to a lot of these um, new talent that's coming out that pretty much, um, unlike us when we started off, mm -hmm. you know, with the, with the two different turntables and the tape and the coins mm -hmm. and, you know, it's totally different now with controllers and whatnot. It, it's somewhat, somewhat easier for them. Mm -hmm. What what type of uh, advice do you give these these new guys coming into the game? Just because you can um, go buy a controller or a laptop and buy a hard drive full of music, that does not mean that you are a DJ. One thing that I learned about DJing, you cannot cheat the game. You have to invest the time. The time may be learning the records, learning the breaks, learning um, the BPM. You, you have to learn the dance floor, read your crowd. It's so much more to just buying a controller and playing the top 20 songs. You have to know how to play. You have to make people forget that their bills are due. You have to make people <laughs> forget that they got problems at home. And that's exactly what I want to master because i haven't mastered wow, it that, yet that, but that is my contribution that sounds to so DJing. passionate and so true because a lot of us i mean you know you guys are dinosaur and you're still dj no because we got <laughs> we, we, we we have a passion for the whole music we love to entertain yeah you know um money's one thing but it's not gonna really feed us with the when it comes to the dj game we do this because we love it now back to the whole um let's go back to genre house okay. music is that your, uh, how do you feel about house music in general? As a DJ? Yeah. To play it? Um, a lot of people think that that is my specialty, and it is not. I love to play it because um, when I came up, that was the birth of house music, and then there was the birth of hip hop. Okay. So I kind of was raised with these two brand new genres of music. I love to play classic hip hop. I love to play James Brown because I am a skater and then I love to play house music a skater even though I'm passionate about house music it's just so many things that is before it with it so I then, love nobody would have thought so that's a skater by the way so that's the Child, I've been skating 30 years what you see? talking about 30 years see, see, she even does she even does hair and stuff like that I just don't yeah. have any hair so I can't <laughs> she can't work with this right now yeah so um that that is awesome Sundance um What's in the works for Sundance right now? What what can we be? What can we see uh, in the future? Any any plans? Anything lined up? Any new tracks or, or whatnot? Actually, um, I'm DJing nonstop. I am I'm just about booked up until um, New Year's Eve. I just got booked for New Year's Eve. Um, I am booked every single weekend with a couple open dates mm -hmm. in September. Um, just DJing radio, uh, 106, 106.3radio.com. You hear me 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Um, and just really owning my own path in DJing and introducing my DJing into my production. Because I do, I did a, um, a edit with a Stacy Kidd song. It's called No Cobs. It is on Track Source. And I just wanted to kind of put it out there. Like, I wanted to see, you know, my style of music does it fit into the world and over the couple of years i've walked into clubs and i've heard you know my song my edit played so i was like okay somebody is it's somebody is grooving so right. i just want to get more into production i want to play you know play my drums I, I told farley one day when he has a big main uh main stage i want to bring my drums out and play behind a dj that'll be awesome maybe i bring him here That'll be and awesome. And tear up your we'll, damn we'll house. Set, yes. We'll set you up somehow. <laughs> you know? 
Yeah. We'll set you up there. We'll, we'll throw some salsa merengue and see if she can keep up. I, I'm pretty baby, sure. bye. I can keep <laughs> up. I can keep up. Bust it. Now, now, another, another, another question. Um, you know, going up into the DJ game because, you know, we, it's it's a family where I know him, you know her, blah mm-hmm. blah. We know each other. Who who are your your uh, who did you look up to growing up? Because I know most of the people that come here. Uh, because of age, um, mm-hmm. we weren't old enough to go into the clubs and hit the warehouse and whatever. So, you know, we got like Hot Mix 5 guys that we heard on the radio. Those are our inspirational DJs. Who are your inspirational DJs? Well, as a young girl, I really looked up to Farley. And that's interesting to ask because as a young girl, she created a track. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm as a young guy, I'm playing her track. Right. So, you know, how does that, you know, it's it, it's kind of like a twist, like in Sundance perspective, in her view, who was your DJ? And Farley was one of mine, too. Yeah. As a young girl, I looked up to Farley and then um, I met him and then knowing him, you know, he became a friend, then a brother. And then I looked up to Bulu Master. I really just looked up to this cat because to me he just came out of nowhere and he just really orchestrated everything every talent that he had production wise editing wise mixing blends he he really owned his own lane Mm -hmm. in radio as a radio dj but to see him live it it's like this dude is is ridiculous on a on a live set what? I I will I want to get Bulu on here. You gotta help me with that. I, I'll help you. Because I mean, I'll help you. growing up as well, I've heard some stuff when Bulu got ghetto with, with some ghetto mixes. He mm-hmm. he really made my speakers jump mm-hmm. in the car a few times. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that guy's pretty good. But let me say one thing: the way that I look at my career, I have different parts of my career and different people that I look up to. Uh-huh. As far as business, yes. business is the backbone. As far as business, I look up to my Uncle Hula Mahone. Okay. He is um, the epitome of what business and music should be. He always says, Sundance, you have to have fun with it. If you're not having fun, get out the game. Right. And make sure your business is taken care of. Right. And yeah. I agree with him mm-hmm. uh, 110%. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't enjoy it, why well, do it? I don't have to do this. Yeah, I do this you because enjoy I it. love it. You love I it. I love fellowshipping, breaking bread with fellow DJs that are in the same reason that I'm in it for. Mm-hmm. And that's why you guys have spectacular shows here on Sundays. Mm-hmm. And Sundance is here to give you one. <laughs> um, Sundance, before we cut it short, any shout outs you want to give out there? Yes. Um, I want to shout out my husband, which is the biggest supporter in the world, Norvell, he couldn't make it today. Um, like I told you, he lost his sister, so he's oh, yeah. with the family right now. Um, my uncle Hula, Maurice Joshua, Murph E, that is my support system, Bulu Master, um, all of my guys at the radio station, my boss. I don't have any girlfriends. I, I don't have any homegirls. <laughs> so just everybody, and make sure you stay on the watch. Chicago Sightis Female DJ dot com is coming. Yes. You heard that here on the music board. Yes, Sundays. honey, it's coming. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna take it off right now with uh, K. Alexi Shelby in the other room, who is pretty much sharpening his knives. He said he ain't doing <laughs> nothing. He said he said he was gonna bring it. I don't know. He had we to see. He gotta bring it now, cause Mama banged the box, baby. Peace out, everybody. On Sunday with Sundance.